Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-mission.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can capture the video recording of your test that you're running. In the last video, we discussed how to capture screenshots and how you can get the path which you can use for reporting. Now today we'll see how to capture video recording of your test. Now those who have missed my last video, this is the video which I'm talking about how to capture screenshot and playwright. But this video is all about video recording. This is a very interesting feature. Basically what happens, it will, the moment you start your test, it will start the recording. And once you're done with your test, it will stop the video recording and you can get exactly how your test is performing. So why this video recording is required? Basically the moment you start running your application, okay? The moment your test is running, sometimes you need to see why your script is getting failed. So this is very important for debugging purpose. So screenshot will give you some idea, but video recording will give you end to end idea that uh, what elements are missing or if there's some layout changes or everything you will get to know when you have the complete video recording. Now how we have to do it, it's very straightforward. Again, again it's one time activity. You don't need to make the changes again and again. And moving forward, once you create framework, you can enable this, you can create a toggle switch on and off, you can do that. So to save some time, I already created one Java class called video demo and I have already uh, written this statement playwright.create chromium launch and set headless to false. Now we have to create a browser context. Okay. So this setting that, with that I'm going to discuss will come only with the browser context. So what you need to do, just type browser and use one method called new context. The moment you call this method new context, you will get a reference of browser context. Now I will directly call one method. So just put dot operator and you will notice in the context bar, we can also pass new can, uh, context option, right? So this is what we are going to select. Here you type new and just type browser. And here you will find new context option. And the moment you put dot, you can see we have so many options. Moving forward, we'll discuss a few of them, which is important. Basically, if you want to accept extra headers, you want to set the geolocations, uh, you want to set locale, you want to make it offline, online. Right now, we are going to use a recording option. So just type dot set record. And you can see we have this option called video size. Now you can give a size. Let me use as of now 500 and 500. You can also set the directory. So put a dot and you will see set uh, record video directory. You can see this option and it will ask you the path parameter. Now path parameter, I will give paths dot get and now I can provide at which location I want to store the recordings. See in my case, what I will do, I will create a new folder called videos and I will give this path. So if I just type videos, so this is my current working directory videos is the folder name. So I will say double quotes video and video, sorry, and V is capital. So let me make V capital and just give slash. It means go to my current working directory. You will find videos folder inside video folder, dump all the video recording. Now this method that we uh, called new context will return you the reference of browser context. So just use browser context. And now using this browser context, we can start creating pages. Automatically it will start recording. We don't have to do any more changes. Now, once you have context, just say context dot new page and once we get the page you can start working with your test now for example i want to automate this application again screen recording is not dependent on any application you can use any application of your choice right now for demo purpose i will go ahead with this i will say page dot navigate and let me do some activities so that once you get the recording it will at least show you some uh, type and click activities so let's say I will just do some type activity on this text box. So we have an ID here. So I will say page dot locator since I'm using ID. So hash ID and fill. Let me use some random email address. Now, once you're done with your page activity right now, I just have one activity, but for you, it will be the complete test. Once your test is done, you just need to say close. So we are closing the page. And now this is very important guide. 
that if you don't close the context, you will not get the proper recording. So make sure whatever browser context you created, you close it. And once you're done with the context, you can close the browser too. So this part is important. Make sure to close browser context. Okay, now let's see, let me run this and see how it works. So right click run as job application. Now it happened very fast. Okay. Let's go ahead and refresh. The moment I refresh, you can see I got one video recording. Now if I want to play this, I will go to the property, go to this particular location and let me play this video recording. It's opening in edge. It's taking some time. Now it's 0.0. .0. Basically what happened, it executed very fast, right? So it could not even capture it. It took less than one second. So it could not capture. So what I will do just to sh uh, show you, I will add some timeout. So I will say page dot wait for timeout. Wait for timeout. Let me give 5000 millisecond, which is 5000 uh, five seconds. In your case, obviously you will have multiple steps, so you don't need this since I'm just writing one step. I want to quickly see the activities with timeout. So execute again, wait it for five seconds. It did type and let me refresh once again. So go back to your project, refresh. We got one more file. Yeah, this one. So this time you can see we have okay five second. Now again it is happening very fast after typing it's closing. So let me give some time out after typings too. So let me give two second. And now one thing that you will notice that it's uh, very small in size, right? Because I've given 500, 500. So let me make it 800, 800, or maybe I will keep this as 1000. And let me remove these videos. Let's execute once again. It will type. Wait for two seconds and then we'll close the browser. Now if I come back, we got the recording. And yes. So you can see it waited five seconds. Typed. Again waited for two seconds. And completed. So this is how you can capture video recording in Playwright by using browser context. Just remember one thing that once you get the browser instance, call this new context use new browser new context option set the recording video size and the directory in my case i created a folder manually called videos which is uh, basically in my current working directory it is dumping all my videos in this particular directory now let's say before closing you want to check or maybe at the once you're done you want to see the path where exactly the videos are getting stored so you can use page dot and we already have a method called video and what it does it will return you all the videos object which is associated with this page and let me just call path that i give me all the path so you can see the return type is path but i need in a string format so i will set to string so this will return me path of the screenshots sorry video recording and I can print here video recordings can be checked at this location so I will be using this path plus path Let's remove from here. So let me execute once again. 
and then we are good to go executed open wait for 5 seconds type and then after 2 seconds it will close the browser and it is giving me the path that new recording is available at this particular location and if I open this type here here we go couple of pointers before we end this video about video recording feature it's completely optional it's not mandatory but it's good to have this feature in your framework moving forward you can create a flag in your configuration a file called video on and off if it is on by default it will record but if you set to off it will not record very important for debugging purpose right now let's say I'm running on my local system right so I'm able to see what is happening but the moment you start running on virtual machines or let's say you are running on github actions or any other cloud services that time video recording can be a great help another important part let's say you are creating report so again you can use allure report or you can extend report so all these reporting libraries that we have they also allow you to embed videos embed screenshots as well so in case if you want to use these videos for reporting purpose we can do that now final points uh, you might have this question that Mukesh do we need to set this again and again for each and every test answer is no once you move to framework you will be creating base class and in the base class we will set these options so that you don't have to call these methods again and again you will only focus on your test rest everything will be taken care by your framework with base class and browser factory yeah so that's all about today's so i hope you got some new idea about recording in playwright if this video helped you in any manner then do support this channel share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care